Hey, good evening. Um, today I want to show you how to do, how to set up a one point perspective uh, framework. So just real quick, you want to set your paper at landscape because that's what we're going to be drawing is a landscape. And the first thing you want to do is you want to use a ruler. By the way, you'll need a ruler and a pencil. Uh, you want to set up your ruler. Yeah, we're somewhere about halfway, I guess. It doesn't really matter exactly where it is. We're going to make a horizontal line from one side of our paper to the other using a ruler. That is going to be our horizon line. Everything above this line is the sky. Everything below that line is the ground. It's called one point perspective. So somewhere on our line, we want to create one point. This is our point that everything will converge to. So we want to use our ruler. And it doesn't matter where you do this as long as all lines converge on this point. So I'm going to make a line that goes like that and a line that goes like this. Um, just for this particular exercise, I'm going to do a few more. The point of this is to create depth, which uh, I will show you shortly how I make that work. Okay, and that's it. A very easy setup there. Um, this is a basic setup. So uh, in the next video, we'll take a look at how you uh, insert objects into this particular matrix. All right, so the next step we want to do is we want to go ahead, and as you can see, I've got it side by side now. We want to uh, go ahead and make this road, which is going to be here. The wider your road or wider your lines are, the wider your road will be, and it will actually make your perspective higher. So the, s the more narrow the road, the higher your perspective will be, sort of like you're floating above the road. And if it's wider, then it'll look like you're actually standing on the road. Very easily to do this, though. You can just simply take your um, ruler, run it past your converging line, and just make some... Uh, uh, some some um, dotted uh, lines and as they get closer to us they're gonna get longer and it will create like the illusion of the road um, what I like to do is turn these into rectangles and if we were really going hard on this then we would make our rectangles uh, narrower as they went away but this will work fine um, but you can see how these lines sort of converge there um, and all of these lines even this line and this line here they all converge right in the middle right at our one point so the next thing I want to do is for this we're gonna make a sidewalk right here on the side of the road and that one's very easy to do you just want to use horizontal lines um, and as those horizontal lines move up the paper they will get closer together and that will create the distance or uh, space so I'm gonna make horizontal lines and again as I go up I want my horizontal lines to get closer and closer together. And try to keep your lines as horizontal, or your ruler, rather, as horizontal as possible. Keeping, um, keeping an eye on that bottom edge of the paper will kind of help you out. So, move on up here. And once you get to a certain point, you can kind of, uh, kind of make this up, because no one really cares. So we'll move that on. Your horizontal lines will create the the illusion of a sidewalk there. Now we're going to make a wall right here, maybe like a like a like a wooden wall or something. I'm not real sure. And um, for that, you want to use the opposite. You want to use vertical lines. Now they must be completely vertical. You can line it up with the side of your page here, using the same exact principle as our sidewalk. Try to keep your lines, um, you know, even with the side of your page. So completely vertical. If, you're, if your lines begin to lean, then your wall will begin to lean. So try to keep it as vertical as possible. As they go away, they will get smaller. And again, just like with our sidewalk, the, once you get to a certain point, you can kind of sort of uh, kind of fudge it there. Now, and the last thing we want to do is we want to draw 
uh, a couple of trees over here. Um, and they're going to be like bushes. We're going to use our converging line for that as well. So we don't really need a ruler for this. We can just sort of draw them in. So this bush, yes, it's a bush. Sure. This bush stops at this converging line. And we're going to draw a bush that is the exact same size as this particular bush. We're going to draw it up further uh, down the road here. And as it goes, we're going to use the same principles that we just used, but we're going to try to fit it in a smaller space. Maybe that bush is a little... Maybe it's a rock. Maybe it's a bush. Uh, at this point, it doesn't really matter. But you can see that as these things move further away or go up the page, they appear to get sm uh, further away. And you do that by uh, diminishing. So you, you create a smaller uh, version of the same thing. Your lines also diminish, but they're harder to understand. But if you start drawing objects in, you'll see that that you'll get some, uh, some nice uh, diminishing and it will create a lot of space there. So that's the second step to this. Alright guys, now that we've got our objects inlaid into our framework, let's take a look at shading and shadow. So for this I wanted to show um, how our road would kind of lay out on our um, landscape here. Um, as you can see our tomato paste cans uh, are going to be stand-ins for our uh, stones or bushes there. And as you can see um, our source of light is in our laundry room up there and that is the sun. So wherever the sun hits you'll have light on one side, shadow or shade rather on the other side, and shadow on the ground. And notice how the shadow is absolutely horizontal, horizontal across the road at the other end. Uh, and all of your shadows, uh, assuming that the ground is flat and not on a hillside or slanted, your shadows will also be uh, flat, horizontal, just like the ground. So let's take a look at how this is applied. So as you can see, we have our bushes still. So we're going to say that the sun is coming in from this side. So everything on the on this side will be light. And on this side, we'll just add some quick shade and this is not great but giving our time it will work so I'm going to put in just sort of some scribble lines here just to kind of indicate some shade as I get closer to the light I'm going to kind of fade that in I'll do the same what we do to one we do to the other as long as they're equal so I'll color this guy in here okay so we have our shade, our sun is on this side, and our shadows now, remember, they are going to be completely uh, horizontal on the ground. And they're going to basically take the same shape as our, as our rocks or our bushes there. So I'll kind of scribble those in too. I'm going to go slightly darker with that. I know I'm kind of wobbling the camera there, but it's important. And this one here's the biggest one anyway. Do this one here. And by doing this, what you're going to be doing is you're setting these objects. You're giving these objects a place to live. And it gives them gravity and a place to sit. It also gives you a source of light without drawing like the big silly sun here in the middle. So it's a way of doing that. All right, um, this is a way to get you doing a one point perspective. You can obviously add trees, cars, bicycles, houses, and all of those things. But for our purposes today, this will get you through a one point perspective drawing. All right, thank you and have a great night.